Hello my dear students in this video now we are going to learn about the debye huckel ansaugar theory so to know what is debye huckel theory first of all we have to know how the concentration of the solution affects the molar conductivity that is lambda m uh, instead of the lambda m we can take the equivalent conductance lambda e also so on dilution that means on decreasing the concentration the lambda m value of the strong electrolytes as well as the weak electrolytes increase increases so this is the plot for the strong electrolytes and this is the plot of the weak electrolytes here uh, strong acids like hcl strong bases like nh are examples for the strong electrolytes weak base like ammonium hydroxide and weak acids like acetic acid are the best example for the weak electrolytes and here uh, ostwald's dilution law explains very well why the lambda m that means molar conductivity of the weak electrolytes increases on a dilution but it cannot uh, explain uh, why the molar conductivity lambda m of the strong electrolytes increases on dilution so for that purpose debye huckel ansaugar theory was put forward in the concentrated solution these three types of effects are present one is the asymmetric effect second one is the electrophoretic effect and third one is the viscous effect so upon dilution that means on addition of the solvent these three effects will be decreased as a result the molar con mobility of the ions increases as a result the conductance or the conductivity that means lambda m values increases so first of all we go for the asymmetry effect when we take an electrolytic solution we have the anions as well as the anions as well as the cations that means the oppositely charged ions are present for example here we take the sodium chloride <coughs> when we, in the sodium chloride uh, aqueous solution sodium ions are surrounded by the its oppositely charged chloride ions in the similar way chloride ions a negative ion is surrounded by the its oppositely charged uh, sodium ions in a symmetrical manner okay na so this is in the absence of the current that means when current is not applied this type of situation prevails in the uh, concentrated solutions but when current is applied through this electrolytic solution what happens the ions move to the oppositely charged electrodes for example sodium ions move towards to the cathode and the chloride ion moves towards to the anode so as these ions are moving to the oppositely charged electrodes uh, <coughs> these ions decrease the mobility of the other ions for example sodium ions decrease the mobility of the chloride ion and chloride ions decrease the mobility of the sodium ions and here they lose Uh, their <coughs> symmetry so that's why it is known as asymmetric effect so due to asymmetric effect in the concentrated solution mobility of the ions decreases and when we dilute the solution uh, the ions uh, move uh, far away from each other as a result this asymmetry effect will be decreased as a result the molar conductivity increases Now we discuss about the electrophoretic effect this effect is very much similar to the asymmetric effect here we discuss about the electrophoretic effect by taking the sodium chloride aqueous solution as an example in sodium chloride aqueous solution sodium ions chloride ions and water molecules are present sodium ion has the positive charge chloride ion has the negative charge and the oxygen atoms of the water molecule has the uh partial negative charge and the hydrogen atoms of the water molecule have the partial positive charge here sodium ion is surrounded by the water molecules from the oxygen side and the chloride ion is surrounded by the water molecules from the hydrogen atoms side and when we apply the current what happens uh, the ions and the solvent molecules moves to the oppositely charged electrodes for example here when we apply current what happens so sodium ion moves towards to the cathode and water molecules move towards to the anode water molecules moves towards to the anode and sodium ions moves towards to the cathode so here what happens solvent molecules are decreasing the 
mobility of the ions as a result uh, the molar conductivity of the ions uh, decreases that means on the whole the molar conductivity of the alkylic solution decreases but on dilution what happens these ions move far away uh, from each other that means this uh, <coughs> the size of the sphere increases as a result uh, what happens uh, the mobility of the ions increases as a result the uh, molar conductivity also increases now we go for the third effect that is the viscous effect here <coughs> viscous uh, viscous mean viscosity means nothing but uh, thickness of the liquids for example h2so4 is uh, our oils are more viscous than the water so we know very well that in the uh, what is that viscous liquids mobility is uh, very less so this type of relation is there between the ionic mobility and uh, viscosity of the solvents <coughs> so as the viscosity decreases mobility that means uh, uh, what is the molar conductivity of the ions increases by considering all these effects that means asymmetric effect electroporotic effect and viscous effect uh, de huckel ansaga proposed a new equation to calculate the molar conductivity of the strong alkylates and that equation is like this lambda m is equal to the lambda not m minus 82.4 upon dt to the power of 1 by 2 and neta plus 8.2 into 10 to the power of 5 by dt taken to the power of 3 by 2 into under root of concentration. Here uh, lambda indicates the molar conductance at a given concentration C. Lambda naught m indicates the molar conductance at infinite dilution. D is the dielectric constant and T is the absolute temperature and neta is the viscosity coefficient.